Hello? Hello? Okay. That works. I don't know if you guys know, but it works.
the King of Fighters 14. Hello? Okay, good. Sounds like we have sound. The game sound is already working. The kicker is working. The couch is there. The game is on. I think it is time. Oh, that transition was really fast. Okay. Well, hopefully I'm not super loud. I could be at some point. That's right. No mistakes. Just happy accidents, guys. That's how this works. Um, let me see if I can find my cell phone so that way I can at least pretend that I'm looking at something. Oh my gosh. Where did it go? I'm already a mess. This is how this works. Maybe it's in the TriCaster room. Wish I had, like, a way to show you guys what I'm doing. Oh. See? Happy. Happy accidents. Uh, um, how's everybody doing? Doing well? Hope so. I'm doing alright. Could be better. Could be on a beach. The sex to people. Don't care if they're men or women, just sex to people are fine with me. Okay. Hey, we went live. See if we're still live. Are we still live? Who knows? Let's find out. Put my vaporizer here. <clears throat> the mic thingy is in my pocket. Jabbing me in the leg. So that is normal. What do we have here? <sighs> is it under social? Why would it be under social? Alright, it's under social. I have one alert. That's not us. I'm in potion. Here we go. I'm looking at me, looking at my phone. Weird. Alright. Play some King of Fighters 14. I was messing around yesterday. Um, let me turn off the sound on my phone. It's probably going to die. Do I want that to happen? Of course I don't want that to happen. Is there where can I plug this? Oh, I know. All right. Let's do this. I have to just swap out some stuff. I'll be right back. Again, he walks away from the stream. He goes into Jake's office because that's where he keeps his phone charger. Because, you know, when Jake's working... Good to be hanging out, poking him in the side. Going, hey Jake, how's it going? You working? Looks really tough. Looks really tough, dude. That's the best way to go. Uh, the, wow, there's lots of Diet Coke everywhere. Um, yeah, let me... I guess I'll just, what's that? That's a Nintendo. What's this attached to? This is attached to some hard drive thing. This is attached to a Nintendo that just unplugged. And nothing else died, so I guess that's cool. Alright, plug you in there. Put that there. Alright, put my phone over here. If anybody knows the password to our uh, Microsoft Surface, that'd be great. Diet Coke everywhere. Yeah, that's right, Garyan. Garyans. Garyans. That's right. Diet Coke everywhere. Oh, yeah, you know, I think I am losing a little bit of weight. My shoulders look a little better. Getting all slow. Been going to the gym every day. Get out of here, really? Yeah, I have been. Why? Because you're looking sexy. Oh, thanks, dude. So, yeah, doing that. You know, thinking about going back to school. Learn some stuff. You know, <clears throat> probably... Become a pro football player or something. I don't know. Probably just be a water boy. Probably couldn't even pull that off. What is going on? What? All right, so let me turn this down a little bit. Just because it doesn't need to be at, like, it doesn't need balls loud. There you go. All right, let me move the microwave from my face. Take a puff of the old vaporizer. 
What did we do yesterday? We went through some tutorial stuff. I was trying out characters. I'm going to continue to try out characters. Let's do versus. Single fight. Let's do fight. This is not doing fight. Suck. We'll go against the computer. We tried out uh, Kyo. Tried out Iori. Rio. Believe Terry Bogart. We'll try Andy this time. He's a ninja. Don't let the blonde hair fool you. Uh, level three power gauge. Okay, see, so you can pick handicaps and stuff. Who, who wants that? That's that's booty. Um, random. That's cool. Clark's gonna be hard to fight. He's a grappler. Power bastard. He's from uh, Metal Slug. <clears throat> Asked on Discord, would Koei Tecmo's music games, Ergo Dynasty Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, fall under the fighting game in Phasmagoria? Um, let me think about that. Absolutely. Um, hey, you have lost a bit of weight. Oh, well, thank you, man. I've lost a little bit. I gotta keep pushing. You know, gotta keep trying to lose more, more of the fat ski. Um, you know, I had fantasies of looking like I did in, when I was, I don't know, a younger man. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully. I can keep it up. Cars in the shop, so it's been a little difficult. Um, so you know. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, so yeah, just doing that, throwing fireballs with Ninja Man here. That doesn't mean that does. That's dope. I don't know why people think this game looks bad. It looks great. Oh wow, he threw me out of my charger. That's dangerous. It's good to know. Uh, yeah, I had a. Uh, let's see, what did I eat today? I had a granola bar, which we're out of. Don't need much more granola bars. We're also out of milk and cereal. I know that sounds strange. What is this guy doing? That's an amazing... Oh, that character looks cool. He might play his car. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get this hop. I gotta get this, like, short hop down. Wow. This guy is insane. He makes Zangief look like a baby. There we go. Alright, so... seem to like cancel in anything there. Oh, that's dope. I don't know what that did, but it was dope. Oh, nice. So that was two easy rounds somewhat. Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? I mean, like, I just, I don't know. Like, there's something about... I don't know. There's the the, the textures. No, nothing stands out as amazing, but it looks really good. Like I, that's one of the things that gets me about this game is like, people say it looks like booty, but I'm sorry, it looks. Oh, I got a random dude. This see. Okay, let me, hold on. I gotta pause this. I gotta pause this. If you're designing a fighting game, I'm just gonna say this right meow, and I mean it meow. Um, I chose a random opponent, right? I picked. Terry, or Andy, sorry, Andy Bogart, and I picked a random opponent, and every time I fight a new set, it's a random dude. How smart is that? That is so smart. What really impresses me is how smooth the animation, yeah, the animations are really smooth. Like, I mean, like, how could you not, not love this? Oh, wow. Oh, that's just brutal. So, anyway, let's see, what does he got? Alright. Oh, here it comes. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, that's just great. Look at that. That's just so cool. It makes Street Fighter look like a poop in the water. I literally mean in the water. Are you so okay? Are you so okay? That's just great. Look at that. 
How is that not like the most amazing thing you've ever seen? There you go. Incredible! Incredible! You almost got your face smashed in. Haha, ha, his name is just Dinosaur. Yeah, it is. It is just Dinosaur. It is. I can't remember. He's... That character, he shows up as a bunch of things. Like, but he's like really awesome. Oh boy. See, that's the problem with this game, is like every time I play it, I just fall more and more in love with it. But then I'm reminded of how inadequate I am as a human being. Did I say as a human being? Can I do... Can I do this? Hold on, I want to see something. Oh no, he got me again. Okay, there's this super duper move that Andy has that I want to do. So I'm going to look it up. No, I don't want control options. I want command list. Andy. Quarter circle forward, half circle backwards. Punchy. Punchy, punchy. Okay, here we go, watch this. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so dope. Alright, I gotta, yeah. There's, there's a lot to do here. Yeah, I just, uh... There's something about this game, man. It just makes me happy to play. I'm sure I'll get frustrated as always when I get my butt kicked online, but that's fine. That's, that's the cycle, right? Wow. How do you do that? Okay, so... Okay, that's fine. Wow, there's no time there. Yep, that's what I would have done. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it. It's over. I had to do something after that, and I didn't. Player two wins. Not bad. Yeah, I think they chose um, to do to focus on the animations and atmosphere more than they did with the actual like detail of character. I mean, don't get me wrong. Thing is, though, like. Computers now, man, they can handle a lot. So you don't really... To make something look good, you don't really have to worry too much about, um... Like, putting a whole bunch of money into, like, textures and stuff. Because, I mean, just regular textures... There we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. That worked. Album, album in the chest. Um, KOF has always had superior animations, in my opinion, compared to Street Fighter. Absolutely. Their effects have always been better, too. I think their effects have always been there. Their explosion effects are amazing. Um, their character effects are incredible. Um, that was pretty cool. There's like a little combo there that I didn't realize I could do. Alright, so the idea is not to get hit. But yeah, I've always felt it was better. Oh, oh I can counter that. Get out of here. So let's see, what's his super ultra pooper move? In the air. Uh, smack him in the face. How about that? How about that? But it's important to recognize that it isn't a competition in which it's better sense, but rather a competition for dollars and eyeballs. I'm not gonna... I'll be honest. I don't really know which fighting game is the best nor do I care. Um, I just like this game. I like all fighting games in general, to be honest. Like, Street Fighter V is fun. Um, I wouldn't say it's the bee's knees, 
<clears throat> or any better than any other fighting game, really. I will say this, however. Um, hold on. Oh, God. I'm glad she's doing well. Um, I will say this. There are games that I prefer over others. Um, I might not be very proficient in them, but I do enjoy them very much. Somebody said Xanadu is fun, so let's play Xanadu. Oh, yeah, I was watching Sejam. I don't know if anybody knows who that guy is. Um, I don't know his real name because I'm just an idiot. And that's how it works. But um, he is. An, he was an announcer for Evo. He did the announcing for Street Fighter V, I think. I think he did that. He also played like a bunch of fighting games and did really, really well. I don't know. He seems like he did really well. He seems pretty confident in his ability. Um, and uh, yeah, he was talking. Somebody on his chat was talking about Xanadu, so I'm gonna play Xanadu. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> Alright, there's that. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, interesting. What does that do? Interesting. Oh, maybe you double jab? Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if we can do something equally as devastating to him. Alright. Oh, 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 cool, he did it twice, so oh, that works. Dude's crazy, I love it. Round two. Ready? Go! I think really the graphics are just adequate to be good, and that's fine. You don't have to be breaking records. Pleasure array. Haha. Oh, what a weird attack. Kinda reminds me of a fresco type. Wow, he's got no range. Lots of punches going on here. Oh boy. Dude, my timing for this game is way off. I mean, I'm winning, but whatever. Uh, when player two gets supercharged, the number besides the MP logo increases. Ha ha ha. Xanadu makes me think of a character designed by a nine year old child, and it's awesome. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's going on with his head there. I don't know if he has a weird bump on there. Something's going on with that guy. Definitely something. Definitely something. Um. So who knows? I don't know what's going on with him. I hope he's okay. He looks like he's doing alright. He's kicking people, but that's a good sign of health. Who's this guy again? no range. Oh, it's because he's like... <laughs> Wow, went right for the rush. I'll do the same. Oh, nice. 
just gonna wave my arms around. Um, the number next to oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so uh, so what's going on here is since I didn't really explain this underneath the overlay that we have here, because I wasn't thinking, um, is the super meter. So it goes from one to five. And if you hit all four buttons at the same time, I believe, I have an itch, excuse me. Um, good thing you can't see my balls. Um, it'll go up and then if I hit all four buttons, it's max mode and max mode allows me to do EX moves. It takes one bar uh, to activate and then I can do EX moves for a certain duration of time and it does not take any EX or any power away from me. So that's a little different, right? Like. Street Fighter, or maybe even like, um, like Killer Instinct, or even Mortal Kombat, you can meter burn to like get an EX out. This one, you just use one bar, and then you have an activated max mode for a certain amount of time. And if you choose, you can use your special moves as EX moves, which gives them, uh, you know, stronger attack, faster startup, added uh, effects, and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's how that goes. Anyway. <laughs> how do you play as a character on somewhat familiar with I love how he does like a spin around you, and that's supposed to be like the thing that. Like, there we go. Straight to the finish. I guess that's pretty cool. So Xanadu is pretty neat. Looks like he's got a lot of interesting stuff. Not a whole. Not a whole lot of special moves, but what he does have looks like they're pretty devastating and they're hard to pull off as far as um, being able to time them and get them in a combo. So let's Remember pick someone I'm select. slightly familiar with. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Karate is not here. My favorite. Just uh, let's play as our boy Rock, okay. huh? Uh, and then we'll pick a random opponent who is adorable. Um, that reminds me, I really want to go back to my. Uh, oh, let's do random stage and see if every time I start at the random stage. Excuse me. Oh wow, jeez, you know, that was Mexican last night. That's how that works. Ready, um, go. Oh, look at that. Repeating. Repeating. Oh, that's right. He can do uh, this. Come on. Is. I think he runs up and poses. Wow, flowers in the face. Raging storm. Everything was perfect. I guess. I mean, she almost killed his butt, but whatever. That's so weird. He's like, I can't control the color purple. Or is it blue? Hold on. It's blue. He's like, my dad is crazy. I couldn't. I can't handle it. Oh, that's right. He's a buster. buster. Wow. This game is faster than I get it for. 
Oh, and it bounces off. That's cool. Winner! Sorry, I don't know how to hold back. Even though you're a beautiful young woman, I just couldn't hold back. I had to punch you in the face. Talk about flower, yeah, right? Here we go. Random stage, random dude. I didn't watch any combo videos on this, did I? Oh, I think I watched a little bit of Ultra 10, and that didn't really... Not that Ultra 10 didn't help me, it's just I didn't actually finish the video, so he was very helpful in the sense of like if I had been paying attention. Oh, kick in the face. Raging Storm is great. These are one of my favorite moves. There you go. I think I'm missing something here in this game. Ah, so on the to-do list, get a fight stick. Uh, I'm not going to make one right now because I don't care about that for an answer. Okay, so how did I do that before? Oh, Oh, nice. Kim is amazing. I should play as a free dude all the time. Yeah. And puke in your face. So we played as a bunch of dudes. Let's play as Mai, because Mai's fun. Let's play as some let's play as some chicks. Do that. See what we got here. So, you know, Rock's pretty much the same as he was in Garo, so. Sure, why not? Um, do we wanna be pink? Wait, do I have another one? Alternate? Yeah, what's her alternate? I'm curious. I mean, you know, if you're gonna play as a woman, let's play dress up, man. Me Tenkun? Me Tenkun? Interesting. Kinda reminds Stage me of that dude select. from, uh, what's that? Uh, Fairy Tale, I think it is? Uh, so I want to see a fighting game where an AI, assi where an AI assigns you special powers. Explain that. Gah. That doesn't, it doesn't get better than that, guys. Oh, she's little red riding hood with little bloomers. That's cute. What do you mean by a fighting game where an AI assigns you special powers? I don't understand that. You mean like the computer just gives you special powers? They're like your character, I assume? Oh, she's got a little wolf. How cute is that? It is adorable, damn it. Aha! Super lightning, uh, Lolita check. That was easy. Um, like if you jump in and get close, it will have like flaming uppercuts like Shoryuken and other high risk damage style attack. Or if you hang back, you get projectiles or body movement attack. Hold on, I can't see the bottom of it. Like Blanca's roll. But like during the fight, it gives you these things? So, like, I just pick a character, and then, depending on my distance from my opponent, that's what happens? Okay, that's just a silly face, and I don't need to see that right now. Um, let's see. Very silly face. Um, who else do we got here? 
King is super popular. Alex is cool. Athena's always popular. Yuri's amazing. Leona's the star. Oh, Love Heart. Oh, uh, she's the one from Garo. And then we have Mui Mui and Nakaru. 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 Of course, we have Mature and Vice. And Zarina, which I might play as Zarina since she's kind of all new. Yeah, because I think everybody else I've played as, so I'll play as Zarina. Uh, purple, because that'll probably go good with her beautiful skin color. And whoever this guy is, Mian. Stage select. So if you're new, you just have an adaptive blank slate, but if you have 1,000 hours, you'll have tightly defined control. Like a profile, well, like it builds as you go. Oh, okay, I see. So like, as you're playing the game and you develop, you put time into it and whatnot, it'll slowly, what, like, assign you different special moves or new special moves or you'll unlock a character's special moves. That's cool. You don't have to go off and do all that now. Alright, what is this cool? That's cool. Wow. She's no joke. It's also a knockout. For a plastic 3D character. Flowers everywhere. Boom. You know, it doesn't ever hurt to get a lady flowers. Let me put it that way. Never hurt to get a lady flowers. Nice. Good again. Wow, she's flipped like completely over. Maybe throw in a few simulation features like meals or adjusting character stats like speed, strength, or ability. Assigned moves based on how you play. It'd be an interesting way to vert the whole memorized moveset. I guess. I mean, part of a fighting game is me memorizing the moveset. The character is unique because they have a particular set of moves. Oh, that's not nice. that's not nice. um, So at some point, you'd have to be memorizing moves anyway because I'm assuming this isn't something that's super permanent. Oh, come on. Uh, 
Wow. Final round. Ready? Go. That's all I'm saying. Is uh, spend some time playing a lot of fighting games, and this is what you get. I don't really memorize moves, I guess. At some point, you're gonna have to learn the character that you're playing as. I get, I get the idea though of like slowly ramping up abilities. Like, okay, now you can do this, and now you can do that, or based on how you play your Shoto character or a charge character or whatever. Like, I get that. That's totally cool. Um, that would have to be like a character creation from start. You wouldn't have. Maybe you'd have a couple characters that are like have a bunch of pre-assigned stuff to give people an idea of how the game works um, in general, like what movesets to expect, um, possible moveset, movesets to expect, but um, I think in general, well there's hard. Um, but yeah, having like a blank, a blank character or a doll or whatever, character creation, and then from there, you would, even like, kind of, how would I put this, like, if you build a character that's big and strong and you're leaning towards, like, defense, or you're leaning towards, like, slow attacks with overpowering strength, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean you'd be a gap grappler, but you might lean towards that. Like, if the computer goes, oh, you're throwing a lot, I'm gonna give you a throw and see how often you use that, and if you don't use it that often, then maybe I'll take it away. You know, maybe that's it. Maybe you do it through use, right? The character gets better through use. If you don't use something, it forgets it. And then you, the, car the computer or AI, whatever, would select something else for you if you didn't like that direction. Uh, crowdsource character generation, I guess. Uh, with dynamically allocated movesets based on your playstyle. Yeah, use world. Yeah, use would, would do it. Yeah. Yeah, use would do it. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. So... Yeah, no, that'd be kind of cool. Um, and then I would just make it so you have a finite amount of moves. Um... Yeah, see, it's like... Yeah. They get better at the timing. Sorry, guys. There we go. Feel better. Oh, nope, not not good enough. Power. Wow, he just put that. Yeah. Man, you know, I think ultimately what I've learned from uh, Japanese lore and culture and anime in general is you don't mess with a butler. You just don't do it. I've seen every, you know, every butler is either a vampire, a werewolf, or, uh, or you know, like a karate master of some kind. Actually, one of my favorite ones I've seen lately is Sophie definitely this morning. Um, was, was, uh, what was that one? Goku Stan or something? Where the chick, this woman, is a Yakuza master lady. Hold on one sec. This is hilarious. Oh, yeah, I'm on. Uh, 
Does that make that easy? All right. we got let me see what else is going here i got like three different things my like my initial idea was i want to see a fighting game where the player character is 100 adaptable but i didn't say it that way hmm well see here let me give you kind of an idea of why that might be an issue if you have a character that's 100 percent adaptable and you're fighting another character that's 100 percent adaptable you're going to end up having fights that are going to either be really boring um, or how do I say this? Impossible to gate, right? Because part of playing a fighting game is um, uh, is is kind of determining a player's skill, not just with um, uh, hold on. Um, and so it can be difficult to kind of right like you know your character but you also have to know your opponent's character and you have to know how your opponent plays your character right so i'll give you an example um which is a street fighter example because that's the only one i have like off the top of my head um when tokido fought knuckle do watch that fight watch tokido fight knuckle do and watch how knuckle do had dominance until tokido got in his head and that's huge. Most of that, when fighting games, a lot of it is psychological because both characters, are, both players are are excellent, usually at that level, right? Top level fighting games, they're outstanding. Um, the pressure might get to them every once in a while. You know, Evo, you're going to win a lot of money. But both players are outstanding. So it comes down to psychology. You know, what can I do to get in that person's head to make them either angry or feel comfortable or whatever, right? Too comfortable, let's say, right? So what happens is Knuckle Dew, I guess, is known for teabagging people. I don't know if you guys know what teabagging is, but, you know, look it up, teabagging. Um, he does that to get in his opponent's head. He'll do it in the middle of a round to get in somebody's head. Um, but it happens often enough where, you know, doesn't really matter too much. You know, like if somebody's teabagging me, I don't have a problem with it because I'll teabag them back, whatever, I don't care. Um, but when Tokido starts doing things like wiggling back and forth and kind of blatantly attacking in ways that are taunting, you see Knuckle Do start falling apart and realizing, oh, I could actually lose this. Um, and so again, having a characters that are a hundred percent adaptable, you want characters that have strengths and weaknesses, and you want players that can, you know, use the strengths to their fullest potential and work around the weaknesses of the character. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the general thing. I like the idea of like, unlocking a character and having an adaptive character that eventually has a certain set of moves but 100 percent adaptability um well it just becomes the perfect character right so yeah like that yeah exactly like running up do a couple jabs and move away 
or even like throwing, like throwing somebody like five or six times. Wow, that'll piss somebody off. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, hold on, and hold on one sec, one sec, I just have to add something to this just because it's freaking hilarious. Um, boom, 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 boom. All right, whatever. Uh, 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 screw you, spell check in the butt. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah. Ha uh, ha, uh, his name is Just Dinosaur. Yeah, it is. Um, what really impresses me is how smooth. Wait, hold on. Did I just, I, I just moved the throwing like that repeatedly pisses me off. Dude, it pisses me off too. Um, and there's really only one answer to that jab or jump. You know, and if they're in caught in, in throw animation, oh, this is a cool stage. And if they're caught in throw animation, that means you get a big combo off them usually. Um, yeah. So I think, really, like as you said, like that really pisses you off. You might be the best Street Fighter player in town, but if you can't, you can't get around the fact that some some dude is gonna like Zangi freaks me out. I'll be honest with you, like a Zangi freaks me out. And I don't know why, but um, whenever I fight a Zangief, I just think of this big perverse man trying to grab me. And I just, it, it, you know, not that I have any trauma in the back of my head or anything like that or in my past, but good lord, it just freaks me out, you know? I just think, man, if, if that was a bigger man, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like maybe a Sakura. You know, I get caught looking up her skirt and then I lose. Um, it's silly because it's not even a real character or a real person, but who cares, right? You know, we're, we're animals. We just think of the general shape of things and we're like, oh, that's cool. You know, Yuri here is like a 15 year old girl and everybody's sitting there going, oh, isn't she cute? Yeah. So, uh, but because he's bad guy does not mean uh, he is bad guy. No, no, I understand that. In fact, you know, um, I saw Wreck-It Ralph, or at least part of it. At least that part of it. I didn't see much else of it. Members so, didn't have, didn't have the patience. I don't have much patience for movies and stuff now. I guess it depends on the company. Plays as Boxer, dude. He looks cool. Boxers are cool in these games. Um, Stay me or her nipples just like at like 45, maybe even 50 degree angle. How does she? Oh, what's this guy's moves? I think he's different from everybody else. Oh, I see. Alright, see so here. Oh, I see. He's fast. Does he have a robot arm? Looks like he has a robot arm. Probably why he's not playing professionally enough. That's just because he is a bad guy doesn't mean he is a bad guy. Ow! Ow. Get it again. 
I got how it's just like, oh, and you're dead. Wait a minute, hold on. Nelson. Back, forward. Back, forward. Those are throws. Man move. Oh, you go up, down, left, right. Oh, so neat. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. I am so excited. Okay. Player two wins. Nim Kandyo. King Fighter 14. Final round. Ready? All right. Go. Trying to figure out. Yeah, this just has max mode. Round 13. Definitely. Yeah. Just learning how to use this one is pretty tricky. You know, I was until I played it. It's just Destiny, and it, I mean, it looks good. It's just Destiny. I mean, if you want to shoot stuff and level up, and that's cool, but like, that's really all it is, honestly. Okay. All right, let's see what this guy's super move is. Okay, that works. Hey, what? What? Oh, okay, that's cool. There you go, you just mega punches here. So, so you know, when you got problems, just mega punch people. Mega punchy. Oh my gosh, spell check. So Nelson's definitely a different character. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's try Wee Wee. She seems pretty cool. What time is it? Oh no. Dang. Uh, yeah, go here and there and we'll go in. Here we go. Stage select. I think she's like Bao, but I don't know. She might not be like Bao. She is like Bao, then it's gonna be fireballs and Rekka's. If she's not like Bao, I don't know what's going on. What's that little guy right there? Oh, hey, little guy. <laughs> I'm sure all of you have seen uh, Drawn Together. <laughs> oh, Rekka's. Rekka's in your face. Rekka, your face. Nah, just learning how to play. And doing it badly? No. Oh, I bought it a while ago. I just haven't, like, really delved into it. So. Uh, no, the, uh, place, uh, PC. Yeah. You know, a pick to the face typically does it. Oh, that's a throw. Yeah, it is. That worked. So, yeah. 
Styles, Rekka's, no Fireball, but Rekka's, or Mui Mui is Rekka's and stuff. Rekka's, Hurricane Kick, and a Uppercut. So that's not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good move set. Try again here. See who else we get. Round one. Ready? Go! Fireball. That work. Player one wins. Perfect game. Wow, I got a perfect. Not too shabby, Rooney. Ready? Go! Yes, Sandy is kind of cool. There we go. There we go. This is pretty quick. Oh, yeah, I can get that timing down. I'm still descended from dragons. My true power will never lose. Cool. Dragons are awesome, man. Dragons are pretty powerful guys. And so. Whip. Try Rio. Just cause. Just cause. Stage select. Hey, uh, do you know what the password for this uh, surface is? Do you remember? Okay. Not a battery, not a player. Because that's connected. Here comes there we go. New challenger. I take a seat. You're not gonna sit next to me. You don't wanna, you wanna sit next to me. Make a little left. No, no. All right. Versus. Team versus. Alright. Member select. And alright. There you go. Alright, so I guess I'll play him. Alright. Okay. Since I'm playing against Mr. Hull today, I should probably pick some characters that I may know. I doubt that. <laughs> The timing in this is very different than the other games. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon punches, fireballs. Order select. All right. Uh... Stage select. All right. Uh... Watch out! Watch out! Huh? Huh? 
Yeah. Yeah. That's a comeback and a half. Player one wins. Okay. Bochi bochi hajimeru ka no. Round two. Ready? Go. Yeah. Try to. Watch out. Generally, yeah. Yeah. Specials are different. Timing is really different. There's uh, booze, maybe. Zoom tight. Uh, yeah, you can do a super special and you can do EX moves. No, he still has the um that multi punch where he'll dip and he'll do a couple of attacks. Yeah, she's still speaking English. The English is good. It's that timing, like the timing for the jump, I can't I can't figure it out. I don't know if I'm what I'm doing wrong. Huh. One more to go. Player two wins. Because like going from a light attack to a special move, you can get chip you can get knocked out of it. But then timing a fierce to a fierce or a heavy heavy is really weird. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very different than uh, any of the other ones. Yeah. Hey, come on. Go, go for it. Round one. Uh. Ready? Go! Alright. <laughs> cool, yeah. Timing is very different. Pretty cool. That was Matt. 
Showing me a thing or two in King of Fighters. Pretty cool. Stage select. It's not an easy game, like, I, I found it was very, it's very tech heavy and you have like timing is very, very intense in this. Uh, like, Guilty Gear you can kind of get away with just kind of mashing buttons to a certain extent. Uh, Street Fighter, it's kind of, like, it's just kind of your bread and butter, so it's pretty obvious. Um, yeah, it, it, it's kind of, a difficulty wise, it's like up there with like a Blast Blue with like the extreme technical understanding of how the characters work. Combos aren't as big in this, although... Oh, it puts him into a run state. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, nice! Yep. Uh, the huh? Yeah, it's very good. I'm just trying to figure out how to play it. Huh. Did you? Yeah, yeah, have fun. PC, man. You guys get a PC? Yeah, get a PC and shut up. <laughs> these, these, these console wars, man, they're kind of balls.
HDR.
I agree with a lot of people, it's not exactly for the tutorial. Hmm, let's see what time is it. Alright. You're sending me... Alright, oh, alright, alright. Hold on. Oh my gosh. if they started with like basic basic what is this time attack and survival that's not gonna help any tutorial did i already go through this recovery emergency evasion gc back oh well kind of think just training is gonna help for me right now uh... Good parry, man. Yori, sure. Stage select. Training stage. It's extremely exciting, isn't it, guys? Watching me. Let's turn away. Is he boxing with a nutrition rescue? No, it's true. <laughs> Sorry, this, uh, my phone for some reason is. The chat doesn't always move up, so I apologize. So I know that's a combo. Combo. That's a combo. That's a combo. No, that's not a combo. That works. Where am I? Where do I get the? What kind of combos aren't working here?
Oh, okay. I see ya, how's it going? Have good ones. Wait, does he have a power now? Try to shoot! Power charge! There's a power charge. Power charge! Ha! Goodbye! Yeah! Goodbye! Here's a big one! free almost free of the king of fighters search for how the heck do I play this game uh, feeling like I'm getting a little better at it but not by much uh, the EX moves are super important um, so activating max mode is big right Nope. 
Yeah, can't get him off of that. So you can't throw in an extra hit. Here's a big uh, let's see what this power dunk thing looks like. Uh huh, there you go. Oh, come on. There you go. Interesting. Here's a big so what happens if I... Okay, that's very different. That's pretty sick. I like that. Alright, what's going on, Dogen? Which king of fighting game is the best? Oh. We sit back and think for a second here, take a little break and relax. Um, 13 was really, 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 really good. I think that's probably the best one. Other than that one, so let's get past the numbered ones. 98 was pretty good. 94, I think, is probably up there. 98, huh? I think 94 is probably, was it 90, 94 or 98? I can't remember which one. I'd have to look it up. The 2000 ones were pretty good. I can't actually think of a bad King of Fighters game. Other than King of Fighters, what was that? 12 or something? The one that came out before 13? Um, they're all the same. Not, I mean, actually not really, to be honest. Um, they all have a different, slightly different feeling. This one, I think, is the most different of all of them. Um, really throws me off. I can't tell what's original and what's new. Um, this rush thing, where you can just hit jab. You know, that's kind of neat, but that's really all it does. And so, I guess it's good for beginners, or if you're in a pinch and you just want to get some damage out. But, I don't know. Like, I'd have to say probably King of Fighters 13 is my favorite out of all of them right now. Um, 14 is good. I think I think they're adding more characters. I don't know. I haven't I haven't really read up on it lately. Um, so I think they're adding new characters, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, I think ultimately they're all pretty damn good. Now that I think about it, 94, 98. I don't know if there was a 99. King of Fighters 96 doesn't sound right. Um, the that looked almost pre-rendered or something. Wait, wasn't 13 one of those with the ridiculously good Pixar? Yeah, it was. It was. It had super good. It can't remember the artist's name. I'll have to look that up. Um, he hand drew all this stuff. From what I heard, and this could be just a rumor of some kind. He basically, I think he went to Thailand or something like that and disappeared for like a couple years or for a few years and did all the art and then uh, probably uploaded it to SNK or whatever, Playmore. I think it was SNK Playmore. I think it still is. Um, and yeah, and they they redid all of that stuff. So that one was sick. That one, that one has some of the most beautiful... Easily some of the most beautiful pixel art I have ever seen. Easily. Easily some of the most beautiful pixel art. Uh, <clears throat> um, I can't think of anything else, though, that has equivalent art like that. Huh. Yeah, that one just blew me away, dude. Super crazy. I mean, like... Metal Slug's got some amazing art. Character art isn't great, but the explosion and the effects are really cool. And they took those explosions and effects, they put it in King of Fighters 13, and then they upped the actual character art and background art, and it became this beautiful, beautiful game. I actually have 13 on Steam. Um, so, but I don't really feel like playing it just because that's like, you know, King of Fighters 13, I want to be on 14. 
Um, I still think Capcom Spiders look the best, Marvel and Third Strike. You know, I, um, I disagree, honestly. Guilty Gear looked better, Blaz Blue looked better, um, old Blaz Blue, old Guilty Gear, not even talking about the new stuff. New stuff, like the stuff that, um, what's their names are doing, uh, Arc System Work, with Dragon Ball, F Dragon Fighter Z, and Guilty Gear, X Card Revelator, I am blown away at how amazing their art is in that. Um, well, I don't play those. Well, I'm okay, so you don't you don't fucking play them. What do you want me to say? I mean, Dogen, come on. I, I play all fighting games. You want to know? What I think my best fighting game is a Dead or Alive. That's the best looking fighting game out, I think, at least one of the. It's not exactly a great fighting game, don't get me wrong. It's, yeah, it's a little chintzy here and there. But, um, I don't care if you play them or not. Sit down and go buy them, damn it. I have them on PC. Why don't you come over here and play, huh? Oh, you're too scared. Dogen's too scared. Dogen's too scared. He doesn't want to play against me. Boop, 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 boop. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like I'm just saying, like those those are easily some of the most beautiful games out. Um, Arxis, I think, has probably the most beautiful fighting games um, on the market. Their their systems are pretty amazing. Uh, Evo Johnny showed up and wiped everybody with the floor. Yeah, I would lose every time. Uh, you know what? Matt Hall just came in here, played played against me. He's never played this game, and he he beat me. So, I mean, I don't really ever play this game, which is why I'm playing it now. Um, and I'm going to have to watch some videos or something if I want to get better at it. But, yeah, I think Arxis has the best looking games. Um, I would say Capcom had some of the best fighting games. But ever since Street Fighter 3, I mean Street Fighter 4, I can't say that. I didn't like 4 or 5 is better, but not by much. Uh, Memich is now playing Epic Tavern. Um, way to go, Memich. Um, you play that game. You make that game amazing. Shout out to Hyper K. Um, what else? Uh, Mortal Kombat's kind of meow. I don't know. 10 is really good. 9 was amazing. Um, the 3D ones were... I had fun when I was like, younger, so I don't know, like maybe. Um, not exactly the same kind of thing. Uh, I might get Smash if you guys ever play that again. Um, I Honestly, dude, I like Smash a lot now that I've had a chance to play it a bit without just getting my butt whooped everywhere. I've had some time to check it out. But I'll be honest, like Nintendo needs to get on their horse and they need to throw that on the Switch. They need to stick with the Switch because the Wii U is out the door and was out the door relatively quickly because it was a flop um, and for good reason. Lesson learned, let's move on. Let's take all the Mario games that have ever come out, put it on the Switch. Let's, that includes Brawl or Smash Brothers or whatever. In fact, they should take every version of Smash Brothers, the best version of each Smash Brothers and throw it on the Switch. That's what I think. It should be like a, a, a Smash Brothers anthology, and it goes all the way up to the one that came out on the Wii U, and then like they should release that next year. I would say June-ish. Um, actually, no, May. Like just before school lets out, just to torture everybody who is going to school, which is not me, and all the adults can laugh. Um, I bet they're crunching on a Switch port right now. They probably are. I mean, I hope not. I hope they're, like, doing an anthology where they just take all of them. Come on, so you remember those? Remember anthologies when you'd get, like, one game and then you could select which one you wanted? Like, that'd be sick. I could do that uh, for, a, for a Smash Brothers thing. That'd be pretty dope, right? Then you'd be like, hey, man, I only really ever play Brawl, and you play Brawl, and it's like, hey, man, I only play Wii U, and you play Wii U. Hey, man, I only ever played, you know, Pumpkins. Okay, play Pumpkins. Um, that'd be cool. Um, it'd be nice if they took all the Zelda games and threw it on there. It's really, I think the Switches should be their thing to throw all their old games on. I don't know why. Probably because I don't own one yet, and I'm probably not going to buy one until they do that. Because um, I missed the Wii U. Barely played the Wii. GameCube, I played a bunch of? But it, I never owned one. A buddy of mine that I was a roommate 
Or a roommate of mine, him and I, he had one and I'd play every once in a while. Play a lot of Rogue Squadron on the GameCube. Um, lots of Rogue Squadron. Um, and the N64, I'll be honest. I'll be honest right now. Smash Universe is something, yeah, totally. Um, the last Nintendo system I really, really got into, and I mean like, not that I bought, I was excited for, which was really, I guess the Wii, and I never really played that. But um, the last one I played, like, all the games, all the stuff, was the N64. Probably because that was the end of high school for me, I think. I think so. I think it was, like, that came out around the time I was done with high school. Or getting done with high school. And so I was still in, like, you know, high school, haha. You know, so, like, you know, I'm play. Which is cool, but, like, once... Once reality hit, I've really narrowed down, like what I do. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, and I know you guys are probably just like, oh, I have a PC. If it comes out on PC, I will try to buy it and I'll try to play it. Because I don't like console wars. The only console on this planet worth buying right now is a Switch or a 3DS, maybe. If you're into a PSP, if those exist still, grab one of those. That's fine. I owned one at one point. Um, but that's it. PC covers everything else, man. Um, it doesn't mean that it's going to run perfectly, it doesn't mean it's the most inexpensive system, that's for sure, but it's a workstation and a playground. So that's why I have it, it's easy, it's a one-stop shop for me. I have Steam, I've got DOT, I think I have Origin for something, maybe one game. Um, I think I have a bunch of Ubisoft junk. Um, so yeah, like, what is it, yeah, I'm mostly PC. Ideally, consoles are cool, but nowadays, there's not much great on them. Yeah, nowadays, I can't say... I mean, like, Destiny 2's on the PC. I was just hearing Robbie and Matt Hall talk about it. And they're like, well, half my friends are on PC, and half my fr or half my friends are on PlayStation 4, half on Xbox One. And it's like, okay, so, like, 100% of your friends are, you know, they're, 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 they just they don't have brain one between their ear. You can put a PC on a mini ATX... Set it up, hook it up to your television, get all the same crap you would get if you had a console, and it works better, it works faster. If you take care of it, I mean, you know, you can't just put peanut butter in it, right? You get pretty much every game you're going to get for both consoles, and eventually you'll get all of them. You know? So it's like, the only other thing you need is a Switch. There should really, honestly, America, I'm telling you right now, if you have a TV, you should have two things hooked up to it. Your computer, which could be a PC, Mac, or Linux, I don't care. Okay, PC if you want to play games, Mac if you want to play Photoshop, Linux if you want to be frustrated, all right? And a Switch, that's all you need. You don't need a Roku, you don't need an Apple TV thing, you don't need any of that stuff. I mean, Apple TV if you have like a Mac, I get it, okay? Leave me alone. But like, other than that, you don't need, you don't need anything else. You could live off of that, spend half the amount of money in the long term, and have everything in front of you, you know? And you could torrent stuff, right? Which is totally illegal, and I suggest you never do that. Um, you get websites, right? I mean, how awkward is it when you're, like, searching on the internet for, you know, maybe some, you know, nudie pictures or something like that, right? And, you know, you're on your Xbox. That's no good. That's no good. PC, man, alt tab. Hey, honey. Nah, I was just looking at, uh, you know, baby pictures, that's all, or... You know, yeah, I was uh, shopping on Target. I wasn't looking at uh, large African-American men. That's kind of how it works. So, you know, if you want my my uh, my advice, get a good solid, you know, 4K television. Get a great PC. You don't need anything super duper special if you're only going to be using it for video games and TV stuff. I know people like, oh, you go to the latest greatest. No, you just need something solid. Uh, should last you about five years, right? Any PC should last you at minimum five years. You know, less than that, you didn't you didn't upgrade enough, or you didn't get good enough parts. More than that, you may have done a little overkill, which oh, yeah, it's fine, okay. Um, a good sound system, you know, you can hook up any sound system to a PC. Um, if you want like cable television and stuff, I, I understand that. You know, I'm not sure why uh, professional teams like say the Cleveland Indians. Boom. Uh, they don't uh, have like a subscription where you can get all of their games no matter what for let's say for the whole season for let's say uh, 100 bucks. 
right? I don't remember how many games are in a baseball season. 100 and something. 100 and 162? No, that sounds way too much. I don't remember. Robert! He's not listening. Um, this, I can't remember how many games. Let me check. Oh, no, my phone's I'm using that for chat. Um, I think it's 162 games. Sounds about right. Right? If you paid 160 bucks, that's a dollar a game. Right? And then let's say they make it to the uh, playoffs. Let's say your team makes it to the playoffs or something in the World Series. You know? Then uh, you should be able to get that, too. Maybe, maybe that'll be extra. Maybe that's like 40 bucks, right? For the entire postseason. For 200 bucks, you get the entire season, possibility of postseason, goes to the team, directly to the team, not some cable company, and there you go. Do it for every sport, get it so you can watch, even get it where it's like, you know, I, I know they have like the Big Ten Network, right? BTN. Get that. I mean, I'm sure you could get that on uh, the internet and watch and stream, uh, you know, college football games. Big Ten, gotta love it. Ohio State Buckeyes, they're the best. Wolverines suck. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really my whole philosophy. Now that we've wasted enough time, um, on fighting games, I can actually talk to you guys about my personal philosophy on, on entertainment systems, right? Because you are all just waiting for that. Uh, so anyway, I think that concludes today's episode of Flippy Monkey's Fighting Game Phantasmagoria. <sighs> still learning how to play this game, still trying to figure out what the deal is. I'm going to keep pushing at it. Might take a break here and there and come back, take a break, come back. But, you know, hopefully I'll be able to spend some time with it here and there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was nice playing. It was nice talking to you guys. Remember, just get a PC or a Mac and you're all set. And the Switch, you don't need anything else. So all of you have a good evening, and I will see you next week, probably Monday. I don't know what the schedule's going to be like, but definitely prime, definitely a Monday or a Thursday, and then maybe a Wednesday here and there. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, and have a good night. I'm going to walk over to the trackcaster, and I'm going to hit off. Oh, oh, you got me. Oh.